order holds a reconstruct a signal g of t from its samples the a part is asking find the unit impulse response of this circuit and this is the diagram given and the b part is asking find the transfer function h of f and sketch h of f absolute value and then c part is asking show that when a sample signal g of t is applied to the input of this circuit the output is a stack case approximation of g of t the sampling intervals is ts okay now let's see how to do this so first they have mentioned find the unit impulse response of this circuit so we have to just put um, impulse function for each case so let's see how it's going to look like <clears throat> so if you look at this initially we have an impulse function and there's a delay ts applied to it and the output is going to be with a delay ts and then impulse function directly as well so we are going to have the output okay let's uh, write it with the detail apply delta of t at the expression at the expression hence at the output delta of t minus delta of t minus ts okay because this was delta of t going here and this is with the delay that is delta of t minus ts that's also going right here so the output is going to be this one okay now based on this we can uh, write the unit step fun uh, unit uh, i mean unit impulse function response in this way let's look at that hence the unit impulse response as follows so we are going to have h of t that is the impulse response unit impulse response that's equal to integration and they have given the limits of integration that's 0 to t so this one goes to 0 to t and initially we have delta of t and then minus delta of t minus ts dt we have to just do the integration of this one and uh, we can also separate this one in a two different thing like 0 to t we can separate this delta of t dt and then minus delta of integration 0 to t delta of t minus ts dt and if we integrate an inverse function that is equal to a unit step function so we are going to end up getting a unit step function here that is u of t and for the next one we are also going to get the unit step function that is with the shift of ts so we are going to get the exact same thing right here okay and the unit step function you can express that one as a rectangular function function as well if we express the unit step function in rectangular function form it's going to it's going to be rectangular t minus ts divided by 2 divided by ts okay this is the expression in rectangular function form of this h of t now if we draw the diagram it's gonna look like this it's a rectangular function so the height is always one and for the unit step function also height is always one so this one rectangular pulse with the height of 1 and it's have a period of t 
okay and this is zero now let's look at the, that's answer for the part a now let's look at the answer for the part b in the part b the question is asking find the transfer function h of f and sketch absolute value of h of f now we have h of t so if you find the Fourier transform of that that's h of s apply Fourier transform b part apply Fourier transform we get the frequency domain h of f and if we convert a sing uh, i mean a rectangular function from time domain to frequency domain the rectangular function become a sync function and that will be having the property like whatever the period we are dividing that's going to whatever the things we are dividing that's going to be multiplied in front and also that will be multiplied with omega t omega and uh, this shift is going to be e power multiplication of that shift so final expression we will derive is ts that is the one dividing right here okay and that one multiplied by sin function and then this is one of the property in Fourier transform so if you know like uh, you have to know that whenever you have a rectangular function that become a sing and if you have a triangular function that become a sing square and uh, you will have this property like uh, the whatever the dividing multiply by here and um, and also that one multiply by omega as well and if it's if it's a triangular function then you it will be just double like you will multiply by two ts and omega also multiplied by 2ts as well so that's the difference but here in the rectangular that is ts sync omega ts divided by 2 okay and um, you can either put omega or 2 phi f it, uh, it's up to you both of them are same thing but if you put 2 phi f 2 2 cancels you get phi of ts so that's the difference and then whatever the shift we have we have to multiply by that in this case we have we have the shift of ts minus 2 so we multiply by that e power minus j omega ts by 2 okay mm. ts by 2 and also this is a minus so this one also stays minus right here okay and then if we find the absolute value of this then the shift will go away we will end up with having ts absolute value sync omega ts over 2 and if you put 2 phi f this is going to be 2 phi f ts divided by 2 so you're going to get phi f ts phi of ts here so both of them are same thing and then uh, the diagram of this one is going to look like this so we are going to have this diagram and then h omega in between these that is 2 phi of t 2 phi over t and this is absolute value of h f and this one also same thing okay and that's the answer for the b part of this oh i made a mistake here this one should be in the 2 phi over t so that's the b part of this question and let's look at the c part of this in the c part the question is asking show that when a sample signal 
g of t has applied at the input of the of the circuit the output is a staircase approximation of g of t so this g tilde of t and this g of t the sampling interval is ts so what happens is you know as you see this is like uh, sample apply input of the circuit mm. so if we apply any sample of the impulse function the output is going to be a rectangular function as always like this so when you have a different uh, different uh, like they say different variables and stuff it's going to appear as a staircase let's write the explanation of that so as you observe observe the impulse response is uh, the impulse response is a rectangular pulse when you apply any sample signal at the input of the given system when you apply any sample signal at the input of the given system every sample will generate a rectangular pulse every sample will generate a rectangular pulse and depending on depending on sample value output visual appear as a staircase visual appear as a staircase now let's see how the visual will be appearing so it's gonna be like a like what we have seen for T now we are gonna have a different periods okay so this is zero and then this interval is t and then this is going to be 2t and this is going to be 3t and this is time and stuff okay so as the sample increase is going to double i mean it's going to increase the period every each time uh, so it's going to become 2t i mean t 2t 3t and stuff like that so it's gonna appear like a staircase and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video